Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on pharmacological classification of drugs. In this video, I will explain about drugs used to treat malarial infection. Now, malarial infection is caused by a protozoan known as plasmodium species. Now, this plasmodium spreads by a mosquito bite. Now, in order to understand the drug classification, we need to understand the life cycle of this plasmodium uh, parasite. Now, whenever there is a mosquito bite is there, it injects plasmodial sporozoids into our blood. From the blood, the organisms goes to liver. In the liver, they develop and after that, from the liver, again, they get back to blood and attacks hemoglobin. They breaks down our hemoglobin, develop and then attack furthermore red blood cells. Now, this is the stage where people show symptoms like high fever, chills and sweat. Till then, there won't be any symptoms. Whenever the hemoglobin is broken down or hemolysis is there, then people start showing symptoms. So briefly, there are two major phases are there, pre-erythrocytic and erythrocytic. Pre-erythrocytic means before attacking erythrocyte, the organism is in the liver. Erythrocytic means when after the liver, the organism gets into the blood circulation and attacks erythrocytes. That is called as erythrocytic stage. So we can classify drugs into these two major classes. Pre drugs acting on pre-erythrocytic stages, drugs acting on erythrocytic stages. Again, understand this one. If a drug can kill the organism when it is present in the liver, they are called as tissue shijonticides. Tissue is liver. Shijonticide means an agent which is killing shijont. They are called as tissue shijonticides. Whereas the other class which is acting when the, when the organism is in the erythrocytic stage, they are called as blood shijonticides. Blood shijonticide means it will kill the organism when, when the organism is present in blood. Understand the difference. See, people show symptoms when the organism get into the blood. If the organism is killed in the liver or pre-erythrocytic stage, these drugs can be called as prophylactic drugs because they stop the infection. So they are called as prophylactic drugs. Now let us see the drugs. Drugs which are effective in pre-erythrocytic stage are pyrimethamine, proguanil, primaquine. See all the P drugs, pyrimethamine, proguanil and primaquine. Primaquine is the most important drug. Now. Drugs which are effective in erythrocytic stage are quinine, chloroquine, halofrantine, mefloquine, atovaquan, artemisinins, again proguanil pyrimethamine. See, proguanil pyrimethamine can act as tissue shijanticide as well as blood shijanticides. Whereas primaquine is only acts as tissue shijanticide or which is acting in pre-erythrocytic stage. So this is the broad classification of anti-malarial drugs. There are a lot of classifications in many textbooks based on structure, based on stages and everything. But remember these two classification and that is enough. Again, I repeat, see pre-erythrocytic drugs are also known as tissue shijanticides. Erythrocytic stage drugs are known as blood shijanticides. Tissue shijanticide can be used as prophylactic anti-malarial drugs. Thank you.